Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name's Jolie and today is May 23rd. Welcome. We're going to be re reading from our daily reflection, Each Day a New Beginning. We are honing down to having 365 days of this reading. Um, so I started this in July of July 22nd. So uh so we have two more months, right? May, June, June, July, right? So um, without further ado, I'll go ahead and get started. So welcome to those who are new subscribers. Hello. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe so you can be notified because I do read, God willing, every day. And um, I'm going to be reading another book as well. So there are many books on this channel if you're interested and many. Um, so like you can just... Um, Go into the main page and put in the date that you want, and many readings will, will pop up. And this is a recovery based um, channel right now. Um, so I read so that I can read for myself, and um, it's part of my practice so that I can have some serenity, a little bit more peace every day by reading something. It's like a practice, a diligent practice for me. And so I'm sharing that with you. Okay, here we go. There's a quote. It, does, it says, it's just an initial. So I don't know who that is. S-H. Who is that? S period, H period. Give as much of yourself as you can to as much of your higher power as you can understand. The more we are in concert with God, our higher power, the greater will be our pleasures in life. Recognizing our partnership with our higher power makes every decision easier, facilitates the completion of every task, and removes all uncertainty about our value to this world, particularly to those persons around us. Knowledge that we are never alone. That in every circumstance, our best interests are being cared for. Softens whatever blow we encounter. The blows teach us they are the lessons the inner self has requested. And let us never forget we have a ready tutor to see us through every assignment. The more we rely on God to see us through the mundane activities, as well as the troubling experiences, the greater will be our certainty that all is well, that our lives are on course, and that a plan is unfolding little by little that has our best interests at its center. So my understanding of God and the power of that presence is proportionate to my reliance on that power. Not unlike the power of electricity, I can unplug, or excuse me, like electricity, I can plug and unplug, right? I can plug into the source of the light of understanding for the strength to see my way through any experience today. Knowledge that we are never alone, that in every circumstance, our best interests are being cared for, softens whatever blow we encounter. So that, putting my head around that a little bit, thinking about so if when I first started this I wasn't sure what my higher power was you know like I was like how do I I don't know if I get that you know and we were having this you know just chat about you know my my um the people in the groups we were having a chat about it actually my first sponsor and she you know she's like well I've always had a kind and loving God in my life you know like that's how what she imagined and I was like, you know, 
in my head, like considering that, like, what would that be like? Why not? You know, I was just thinking what the way I saw God was someone who, or something, someone, you know, I was picturing like the finger touching the finger, Adam touching the finger um, to God in the painting, the Michelangelo painting. And then I was like, it just seemed, God seemed to be so out there and why would the, you know, God ever notice me, you know, like his, you know, God has things. To, I always thought God has, you know, big things to do and doesn't have, you know, time for me. So, you know, like I need to, to, you know, control my life and everybody else around it, you know, thinking that that's how I was. I thought I was able to control other people, but it was like, I was manipulating them but my relationships were suffering. Like I don't have long-term relationship with significant others. I mean, I'm mending those with my kids, but I was really under the impression that, you know, like you, when you're in this imaginary place where you think that you're able to control people and, you know, you get along, you think it's going well, I mean, but you can feel that it's not because like for me, I was miserable and discontent all the time. So what does that mean? My relationships weren't doing so good and the relationships weren't doing so good because I didn't have a great relationship with myself first and foremost. And so the way that I was relating to that that also relates to, I guess, right, like this moment, at this moment today, I feel, I sense the higher power is a reflection of the level of my understanding and love for myself. So that's like the thickness of it or the, you know, how I can love other people, how I can um, communicate and um, connect and have compassion with others is in direct reflection of how I can have compassion and acceptance of myself. Yeah, I think that's, at least that's where I'm at with that. Trying to like get it, like, like, how is this working for me in my life? Because it is, it's really working. The prayers in the morning and at night for me are working during the day, like, like asking for guidance when I'm really stuck on something. Like, I need guidance for this thing I need to solve because it's, it's, you know, like when there's a deadline for something and, um, I want to show up for it. And I keep saying, you know, like, are you, you know, like, what are you, what, where are you at with this? Is it fear-based? Is So like the tools of this 12-step program are really helpful to me in all parts of my life. And um, it was really beautiful tonight, like to see Venus is in the sky next to the moon. There's a crescent moon and there's being this really bright. It's so pretty. It was almost like that. So when I looked at it, it was like, oh, isn't that like the license plate of what North or South Carolina where they have like a crescent moon and a star? <laughs> Which one? And I'm like, and then I came home and I looked at the, the astrology and I'm like, oh my gosh, that was Venus. And um, it's there the moon and Venus are really close to, um, to Mars as well, which is cool. So that things you love, love and beauty, you're able to talk about that, feel these things and, and create active, like there's active, like, Viva 
vibra, like life force there. And it's all in like the sign of cancer. And um, so that's, it's really exciting because, you know, there's a lot of energy for the things you love, like to like have a sense of what that is and to love yourself first and foremost so that you can give that to others. You can only give what you have. I can't like, you know, give what you don't have. And when you do, then you come up empty. And um, interesting, a lot of other things coming up for that. Like, you know, getting phone calls from people that you just don't know what to say to them anymore. Because there's nothing there to give anymore, you know? And um, you know, I don't know. I'm going off on a tangent. <laughs> All right, I'm shuffling cards as I talk. So, um, oh, and I wanted to talk to you guys. I'll send you emails or talk to you individually about the... Um, the meeting that we're gonna have, I'm actually working late that night. I'm gonna try to see if I can uh, change that schedule so that I'm available on the third. Someone emailed me and said that they couldn't make the meeting on the 31st. We don't have a meeting on the 31st. It's the third, three, oh three of every month. But this one is, um, this one coming up, I think. And June happens to be on a Saturday. And I is it a Saturday or a Friday? And I normally work late those nights. So I'm gonna see if I can switch that up. Anyhow, I will let you know. Keep you keep you posted. Let's go ahead and say the two prayers that I say in the morning and at night. And um if you know what you can follow along or just feel that maybe you want to write it down it's the third step prayer and the serenity prayer so let's go ahead and just settle down settle in be grounded right here let's have some action in the things that we love ourselves first and foremost okay and um so that we can give that and express that mm. um in an action way. Love is an action word. Venus, jump to Mars. I love that. There's a lot of other people like astrology sites that will say that they're enemies, but I don't see that. See that. I think it's up to the interpreter of the archetypes. So here we go. Third step prayer. God, I offer myself to thee to build with me and to do with me as thou wilt. Connecting. Lead. Yes. Again, God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we can't change, the courage to change the things we can, and wisdom to know the difference. I offer myself to thee. Build with me and do with me as thou wilt. Relieve me of the bondage of self so that I may better do thy will. Take away my difficulties so that victory over them may bear witness to those I would help with thy love, power, and way of life. May I do thy will always. Amen. It's like all over the place there. That's all right. All right, card, ooh, the emperor. I always like when he shows up. I said that before when he showed up a couple um, couple days ago. Things were grounded on the right path. He's offering that, that connection to the higher power and where we're connected, we're grounded. 
is like the law. The law says yes. The the spiritual law. The emperor. I love that crazy like bird on his head. Powerful like a phoenix. Like the phoenix. So there you go. Love you guys. Love you so much. And um, yeah, you can't join us for a little bit. And um, all right, so very good. I will see you tomorrow, God willing, with another reading from each day new beginning. So thumbs up if you're already if you're still here. Thank you for staying. And um, comment. Let me know what comes up for you in this particular reading. And if you have any suggestions uh, for a book. I'm, I'm up for that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. I'll see you. See you tomorrow.